Welcome back to the show. I love having people like my next guest because right after the kids from St. Gregory finish, you know, Frankie comes in and goes, way to go, guys. That was fantastic. Frankie Bellissimo joins me uh, from a different breed. Uh, he's going to be at the Ottawa Outdoor and Adventure Travel Show coming up this weekend at the Nepean Sportsplex. Lots to do there. Frankie, welcome back. Great Thank to have you so here. Much. I'm so stoked to be here. Uh, listen, I love your enthusiasm. As I said, it was so great to have you right after the kids because uh, you're one of those guys with, with tons of energy. Let's talk about the show in, in, in general. The purpose of this is this show is what, Frankie? Yeah, for sure. So just the outdoor adventure show. Just get everyone more knowledgeable in what's out there, who's local. And, you know, we have people from kayaks, paddle boards, you know, the police officers are there and everything like this. And so you get all your information, your safety tips and all, you know, all around good information. Uh, you decided that, you know, you, you have a couple of passions. Surfing was what your first passion, is that right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I was fortunate, uh, spoiled that my parents bring me down to uh, Florida. They flew me to California every year and I, you know, grew up surfing and racing motorcross. So, uh, what did you love about surfing? What attracted you to that sport? I mean, it's a solo sport. It's a lifetime sport. Get in the water. There's no rush to get into it. You just little by little. And it's it's wonderful. Like, waves are nuclear. Yeah. And they create this ambiance for you in the water. So. And not a lot of surfing opportunities here in Ottawa, right? Uh, I mean, <laughs> there is river surfing. Those guys is are over really? by... Yeah, for sure. There's That's a huge cool. community. I, I've been out a few times, but it's... Uh, yeah, definitely a different community for sure. They're Very wonderful. cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, paddle boarding. I want to talk about that because what an explosion in 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 popularity when it comes to stand up paddle boards. Um, why do you think that you know the the success of this sport has has exploded to oh, such I a mean, degree? From from one minute to 30 seconds is all you need to really get on the board and figure things out it's not a wobbly board it's very easy way to get on the water access the water and get that surf lifestyle be on the water and then you know advance from there as well too so it's very easy um learning curve to get involved with paddle boarding you, you brought a paddle board with you today and, and this this brand is is different breed yes. why, why did you choose this particular brand that you wanted to showcase well it's about being an all-around athlete you know so it's like i race motocross played hockey uh, surfing, so different breeds about being an all-around athlete. We have balance boards to perfect that uh, balance technique, and then paddle boards to balance that mind, body, and soul, everything on the water. So different breed. Let's talk about the benefits. What you know, if, if you if you're giving advice to somebody to you know to start a sport like this, why? Well, what benefits would you tell them you can get from this? Well, basically, uh, safety first. Always assess the situation on the river, the water, the lakes, the ocean. You know the proper flotation gear and all this but the benefits is just uh you know creating more core uh strength more ability to uh do the things you love with your children your sports and all this so it's a good crossover sport for everything you have going on a lot of opportunity in the in the ottawa area for 100 there's yeah. um a milestone of uh, access points uh in ottawa from britannia beach you know mooney's bay there's tons of community experts that are leading on facebook you can follow the groups and they're always trying chiming in and where you can go, where you can access water, and they're always making sure you're safe. Right, yeah, and, and that is obviously the, the most important thing. Something else you've done, you started introducing it at, at events, is that right? Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, we did uh, the trade show in the PN Sportsplex to help out with the Ottawa uh, Adventure Show there as well. Uh, I have followed the uh, Triple Crown Motocross series as well, too, and do some oh, events cool. and some uh, balance demos. That yeah, will, tell uh, me about this. This, what, what you, this is what, a balance board? Balance board, more of a dynamic balance board. It's uh, not just a wheel board or something you can get at the you know the local store it's a little bit more dynamic it's gonna really progress your balance as a as an athlete professional athlete I, I put a lot of professional athletes in their place because they oh we'll try this but it's it's very difficult yeah. so you always start with a uh, you know support hand and uh, then it's just uh, like anything else you're gonna ride it and it's addictive fun so how what 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 parts of the body are, are you working out with obviously I can see core right away right it's just the main thing core. that's probably the biggest part of the uh, of balance really yeah. at the end of the day I'm thinking more fast to twitch reflexes okay uh, your ankle strength all the little grips all the little you know muscle fibers in your knees and your ankles a lot are attributed to what you develop on a balance board too now Frankie is this something that you decided on too because it, it helps you kind of in the off season to be able to you know prepare yourself Exa for surf season and for paddle board season? exactly that I sponsor motocrossers uh, so they're on the bike they're always having to adapt oh, yeah, to the bike I situation I mean golfers uh, have uh, you know I sponsor the, the Canadian surf team uh, skiers, um, 
every kind of athlete can benefit from this. You can do push-ups on this, and just uh, you know, a lot of visualization goes into here. I'm not going to get too uh, big into it, but uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I understand a lot of visualization saying. for snowboarding if you want to ride switch dance and different stuff like that or skiers so um, back to the paddleboard so th this is um, this is one that, that you you inflate right so yes. I guess it, it's great because you can bring it anywhere 100% right? yes uh, we just created a more high-end inflatable paddleboard from what you can get at the regular Costco stores we have five fins on the back that make the board ride actually a lot more stable than your traditional okay. uh, pad inflatable paddleboards um, you know there's a lot going for GoPro mounts and it's a very uh, well thought out board for sure and then you know when you when you deflate it it you brought your bag along here so that it comes in that bag after yeah. it's deflated you get the full kit you know pump paddle safety leash ankle leash you get a few other little gifts in there as well but it's all in one i i literally get on my bmx bike put my bag on go to the beach and pump up and uh <laughs> it's amazing and get a little workout with the pump as well the paddles come with it so. And then the paddle breaks down too to fit in there, is that right? Yes, we have a two uh, adjustable uh, aluminum three paddle, uh, three piece paddle. This okay. is a full complete, more of a, a, a more of a competition paddle, right. carbon fiber, but we have them all as well. Yeah, I want to talk about that. So if somebody's, you know, sort of a beginner, are, are, are the, is, is that important too? Like when you when you go looking at your first paddle board and your, and your paddle, you're probably looking at beginner and does it go beginner to advance and uh, right yeah in that, you know, you know yeah introductory beginner to advance I'd say every board is really attainable to be able to be written by anyone uh, but this board is uh, dedicated a little bit wider a little bit uh, shorter not as long as the race board so a little okay. bit wider is gonna have you more um, centralized on your board for more stability wider stance but uh, really there's a lot of boards out there um, attributed to mostly Interesting. <laughs> I haven't had somebody I've talked about uh, paddle boarding on, on the show before but I haven't so somebody talking about race Board. So what? That's a, a much slimmer board, and, and you're really like you're, you're exactly like More crazy. Vinos, a slimmer board. You're gonna track better. Yeah, you, you know what I mean. Paddle to your your um, your capabilities, right? Right. You, you know, there's different types of paddling for racing and stuff like this. But uh, we even have an inflatable race board, which no one else does as well. Too. Oh, really cool. Of, yes. I know. You know, the, the the nice thing is, you know, as soon as I saw these, you know, becoming more and more popular, more and more people out on the water, right? It's it's about getting people out and active and interested in using our waterways because, as you mentioned earlier, we are we are so fortunate here in the Ottawa area. Um, the show, by the way, is happening Nepean Sportsplex. Uh, go to the back into Gate Number Four, happening Saturday. Sunday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. We'll be back with Emma Miskew right after this. Don't go anywhere. We know how amazing moms are, and just in time for Mother's Day, here's an opportunity to tell us how great she is and make her... Other important local services? Tune to City Council coverage on Rogers TV. See your community leaders at work on Rogers TV City Council coverage. Learn all about the creation of the National Capital Region on The History of Ottawa According to Phil Jenkins on Rogers TV. Welcome back to the show. I know I talk about it all the time, but... Uh...